He came all the way across the universe to meet his hero. And what did his hero do? I practically got him killed. Not every video game deserves to receive a film adaptation. Of course, there are so many iconic video games that are cool only as games, but when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog, almost everyone agrees that it definitely deserved a movie. Not one, not two, but three films are devoted to the blue speedster, and in this video, we are going to reveal everything we know so far about the third Sonic movie. Release date, cast, plot, and many other things that you definitely can't miss. Make sure you watch this episode till the end. Hedgehog, you are a brave and noble warrior. Go to your certain Death with honor. Before we start talking about the third movie, we should mention that Sonic 2 was extremely successful and this is probably the main reason why the filmmakers gave the green light to the third movie. We all know that studios are ready to continue filming the movie if it received good reviews and a huge box office. So what about Sonic 2? How much did he score? Sonic 2 was released on April 8, 2022, and it is safe to say that it is one of the most successful movies for the recovering film industry in the midst of a global shift shakeup. It made more than $400 million globally. And yes, the second film literally outperformed the first Sonic. Obviously, Paramount understands that the Sonic franchise is a reliable cash cow for them now. And that is why they are more than happy to film the next movie about the blue speedster. And guess what? Fans are extremely happy to know it. Blackout! Ozzy! Oh, sorry, buddy. Everything's okay. No one was surprised when Paramount officially confirmed the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 release date. But the thing is that we all have to wait for a while. Apparently, fans expected the film to be released a bit earlier, but in early August. Paramount confirmed that the threequel will see the world somewhere in December 2024. It was just a matter of time when exactly the studio will confirm the release date as even before the second Sonic movie was released. They already announced we all should wait at least for three movies. Paramount and Sega also confirmed that very soon for them we will enjoy watching a spin-off series focused on Knuckles who made his debut in the sequel. According to various but not official information, we can expect the same creative team back for the third movie, director Jeff Fowler and writers Pat Casey and Josh Miller. They made the first two movies with huge success and fans do hope that they will keep on working to create the third movie even cooler than the previous two. So now it is time to jump into details and and talk about what we can expect from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I am an Enchidna, trained since birth in all forms of lethal combat, destined to restore honor to my tribe. Paramount announced that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 will be speeding into cinemas on December 20th, 2024, and let's hope there won't be any delays. Two previous movies were released in the earlier part of the year, February 2020 and April 2022, respectively. So we think that release on Christmas will bring the movie even bigger success. Even though we already know when the movie will be released, there is no information on when the production of the film will start. Anyways, many assume that it should start in 2023 at the very latest. Speaking about the Knuckles spin-off TV show, there's no information about its release date. We hope that the studio will come up with the announcement as soon as possible. We haven't found any sign of Robotnik. No one could have survived that crash. He's toast. Good riddance. As of today, there are no official confirmations of returning cast for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 yet, but we can try and guess, right? We definitely think that Ben Schwartz will be back as Sonic because his iconic voice made the Blue Hedgehog alive and so lovable. We also hope that Colleen O'Shaughnessy will return as Tails and Idris Elba will come back to voice Knuckles again. But what about Jim Carrey? Will he return for Sonic 3? Because let's be honest, what is Sonic without Dr. Robotnik? Of course, the ending of the second movie was a bit questionable for Eggman as he is assumed to be dead. But we all know that guys like Robotnik don't usually die in the movies, and he will likely return when we expect him to do this less. However, some experts and critics think that Paramount, as for now, left the doors open for Robotnik's future in the new movie. We don't know what exactly this means, but we will definitely see when the movie arrives. As for Jim Carrey himself, the actor has previously stated that he is looking to retire from acting. Jim Carrey previously said that he is fairly serious about about taking a break from the film industry. If that is the case, Robotnik may stay dead in the films, but let's hope both Jim Carrey and Crazy Robotnik will return. But if Jim Carrey decides to return, Sonic producers Toby Asher and Neil H. Moritz won't recast the role. I know you're dying to get your emerald on, but 
Can we be a little bit more mindful of our surround? Jim Carrey is always a member of the Sonic family, and he'll always have a place in these movies and TV shows as long as he'd like to be around, Toby Asher explained. We love Jim, and he's so special, and what he does with Robotnik is so incredible. We would love him as long as he'd like to be there with us. Well, we all love Jim Carrey, but what about other human characters? Fans really expect to see James Marsden and Tika Sumter back as Sonic's parents, Tom and Maddie Wachowski, Lee Majdum as Robotnik's long-suffering employee Agent Stone, and Adam Pally as Green Hill's Deputy Sheriff Wade Whipple. It would also be cool to see Tom Butler back as Commander Walters. The second movie actually hinted to us that Gunn might play a bigger part in the third movie with Shadow's arrival. Natasha Rothwell could also return as Maddie's older sister Rachel and Shamar Moore as her fiancé Randall. The biggest question is, who will be voicing Shadow the Hedgehog in the third movie, as we all were teased in the credit scene that Shadow is gonna be there in the third movie. As for now, Kirk Thornton is the one who voices Shadow in the series, but many think that the role is to be recast for the big screen. According to co-writer Pat Casey, Shadow is driven by anger and revenge, and that Sonic's attempts to befriend Shadow won't go as smoothly as they did with Knuckles. Sonic's never had to deal with someone as emotionally damaged like Shadow. When he sees Shadow, he's like, well, I'll just teach him about the power of friendship, like with Knuckles. But that's not going to work on Shadow, he told the Green Hill Zone podcast. Let this be my final lesson to you you dim-witted celestial skin day. Now it's time to talk about the plot. Unfortunately, there are no plot details that have been confirmed for the third movie, but we have analyzed the credit scene and there are some things to talk about. If you watched the second Sonic movie, you probably remember that Gunn searched for Robotnik, but they didn't find anything. So Agent Stone is sneaking around now and we assume that he will find a way for his boss to escape. We also know that Robotnik will not be the only one to cause trouble for Sonic, as Shadow is going to make his big screen debut in the new movie. Jeff Fowler, the filmmaker, shared some thoughts with ComicBook.com, but he didn't go deep into the details. I'm hesitant to go into too much detail, only because it's obviously still very early. I will say that we are teasing a character that I'm incredibly excited about. It's very personal to me as a fan, he noted. Speaking of what the cast wants to see, O'Shaughnessy told Digital Spy that she hoped Tails would be back. I hope we get to see more and more of him and see where his gadgets can take everybody. Jim Carrey also expressed his thoughts and said, I think Robotnik should get into nanotechnology. I'd like his machines to be released in an aerosol that can be ingested in the human body and turn people into him. Sadly, Ben Schwartz didn't give any plot details as well, but he teased everyone a bit by saying what we can kind of expect from it to the playlist. For the sequel, we blew it out so much, and for three, it's going to be bananas. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. I was expecting more of you. Go on. Is there a Sonic 3 trailer yet? No. As of now, there is no trailer, but we assume that the studio will give us one in the months just before the final release. At the earliest, there could be a short announcement trailer that will consist of just a logo and not much else. We can't be Robotnik as long as he's got that emerald. He's too powerful. Do you think the third Sonic movie is going to be really cool? Are you looking forward to it? Feel free to leave your comments in the section down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. Is everything a joke to you? Why must you constantly interfere with my destiny?